Ryan, commiserations, 2-0 loss here at Court Place Farm. What are your thoughts after that result? Um, relatively pleased. It's it's weird saying that after a defeat. Um, I think to go to execute the game plan superbly in the first half. We were disciplined. We sat in a bit of a mid-block and frustrated Oxford. We worked on what Oxford do well and their patterns they look to play and we prevented them from doing that. A um, little bit disappointed. Two set pieces, two goals. Um, clever bit of blocking from one of the players at the back post allows a free header. Um, and then controversial free kick. I don't really, I don't think no one in the stadium knew what it was given for, but we've got to defend it slightly better. Again, second half, I thought we were limited Oxford to a few chances. Um, and Oxford showed us some respect, to be fair, because we come here and had lots of joy in the FA Cup and they, they like to push their wide players higher and they sat in the back four. So, um, yeah, fair play to Liam. He'd done his own work as well and limit, limited us to a, what we could do in the final third. But overall, positive performance. It's just a little bit frustrating that we turn up against the top teams in this league at Portsmouth and Oxford and play as well as we have today. And I think if we played like that last week, we come away with three points. So um, we've just got to continue to work hard. And I think if we play like we did today in the next four games, we can pick up a couple of points and that should give us security. Yeah, you mentioned it, obviously two goals from set pieces. Um, was that something that you planned for Oxford to come away with today? Is it something that was sort of in the notes or is it just something that kind of surprised you guys really? Um, we, we know their dangers. Obviously, Amy's come over from Bridgewater, and she's six foot two, six foot three. Sometimes you can't defend it against it. It's just good. Obviously, she scored one of the goals. Um, so yeah, we, we knew what they were coming, and they liked to double up in the back post. Um, we set up to defend that, but like I say, clever bit of blocking at, at the back post, and has allowed them to score. So um, and I think second half, I think Laney won every header at the back post. So. Yeah, so, yeah, lots of positives to take. I, like you say, disappointing not to get anything from the game, but lots of positives to take from the game. Yeah, you mentioned positives. One of the things you mentioned briefly there as well, So they showed a lot of respect today, did Oxford. That's got to mean a lot to you, a top side sort of taking you guys on and not you know, giving you any chances where you might be able to just slip under their radar. Yeah, we, we, we've said all season we're not a million miles away from competing against these top teams at this level, and it's just finer details and moments in matches which seem to fall for them and not for us it's um, the ball bounces the right way for them and or not for us but um, like you say we've just got to continue to work hard four games four important games I think three or four points keeps us in this league so we've just got what for another tough one with Watford next week so we've just got to go into that be disciplined again look to exploit them and hopefully we can pick up a point or three next week yeah not looking too far ahead obviously to the Watford game don't want to talk about it too much I suppose we've got a preview to do for that case but looking at Watford um, obviously they're flying at the moment what are your thoughts about that team and taking them on next week especially after this game as well it's another top side at the end of the day yeah we've had a tough month for me to be fair we've had Ipswich Portsmouth <laughs> Watford and Oxford so yeah we've had the top four it's been difficult we know they're a very good side obviously they beat us 5-1 away um referee killed us in that game so um, hopefully again like you say we can just dig deep and work hard for each other and a bit of quality on the ball which we've shown today so um, we're at Salt Ash we seem to like it there it seems to suit the way we play and makes it difficult for teams to play against us as well so um, yeah we just got to go into that game optimistic that we can get, get results and let's like say we've got four four cup finals in the league left to go um, and I'm optimistic and confident that the girls in there have showed enough again today that we're good enough to be in this league but we've just got to get ourselves over the line and then reevaluate over the summer. Well cheers for chatting Ryan, best of luck for next week. No worries, cheers Jake.